surat us saf relates to the terminal phases of the revolutionary struggle of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. What do I mean by that? The terminal phases of all the revolutions are the same. For every revolution there should be a party. For communist revolution there was the communist party, the Marxist party. There were the Bolsheviks, there were the Mensheviks in Russia. And they struggled against the system that was prevalent in Russia, that was kingship, the kingdom of Tsars, and they were overthrown. So there was, must be a party. Then this party has to challenge the system. And this challenge is firstly passive challenge, and then it, it is active challenge. And this active challenge can conclude and can terminate in the form of an armed conflict. So these things have been discussed in Surah Tussaf. How the party was formed? Man Ansari Allah, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam calling people who joins heads with me for the cause of Allah, to establish the deen of Allah on earth. Then those people were called to wage jihad for the cause of Allah. Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu, hal adullukum ala tijaratin tunjiku min azabin aleem, tuminuna billahi wa rasoolihi, wa tujahiduna fi sabibi allahi bi amwalikum wa anfusikum. And then it was made clear that the highest spiritual level for a Muslim is when he goes to war for the cause of Allah. He becomes the beloved of Allah. Inna Allah yuhibbu al-lazina yuqatiluna fi sabilihi saffan ka'annahum bunyadun marsus. So these are the three phases, terminal phases of every revolutionary struggle. A revolutionary party which should challenge this existing system passively and then actively. And it might turn into an armed conflict. 